The current Chevrolet Equinox generation was first launched in 2018, making it the oldest compact SUV on sale today, and it's also the cheapest. And he guesses what else it is? The Equinox is General Motors' best selling vehicle that's not a full size pickup truck. This, despite the fact that it's up against some pretty stiff competition like Toyota RAV4, Honda CRV, and Nissan Rogue, all of which are much newer than it is. Starting prices range from $27,995 for an entry-level LT to $34,795 for a top-of-the-line Premier with this RS falling in the middle. The Equinox hasn't changed much over the years. In fact, Chevrolet has slimmed things down and only offers it with one powertrain, a 175 horsepower, 1.5 liter turbocharged four-cylinder that's made it to a six-speed automatic transmission. And you can get it with a front or all-wheel drive. One thing that is new for 2024 is this Lakeshore blue paint, which I gotta admit looks pretty snazzy with the black trim and those black wheels on the RS. So it has metal roof racks, and you can put a panoramic sunroof in between them to light up the handsome but not very futuristic interior. The Equinox has about 30 cubic feet of cargo space, which is on the small side for the compact SUV segment, but it also has one of the largest passenger compartments does very well. I'm a six foot one scooch test where I see how I fit behind myself with the front seat set like I like it and passengers back here get vents, USB ports and a 110 volt plug. Plus there's an armrest here in the center console with cup holders which brings us to the Caffeina cup and bottle holder cap brought to you by Caffeina caffeinated spring water. As seems to be the theme with the Equinox there's nothing too extraordinary going on here. You have two cup holders between the front seats, bottle slots in the front doors that are better for bigger bottles, perfectly sized ones for a caffeina in the rear doors, and two cup holders here. So if the rear armrest is down, the Equinox has eight beverage holders, which equals two drinks for each passenger that can fit. Caffeina! Buy it on Amazon using the link in the description below. Even though it hasn't fully redesigned the Equinox in a long time, Chevy has done a good job in keeping it up with the times. It has automatic emergency brakes, blind spot warning systems, a lane departure prevention system, and you can get it with adaptive cruise control. It also has an infotainment system with a relatively small screen, but is equipped with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And even though the operating system is one of General Motors' older ones, I actually like this one better than some of the more updated versions. It's really simple to use. One thing that did jump out at me in this vehicle is that the center armrest is particularly long and has a pretty large storage compartment underneath it, which to me is all that and a full-size bag of chips. Now in Chevy parlance, RS is short for rally sport, but it's just an appearance package. This is not sporty at all. It's also not what you would call fast or fun to drive, especially compared to something like a Honda CRV, which has that sort of driver's feel to it, but it is fine and entirely capable. It's comfortable and handles well enough, even on a lumpy winding road like this, which you wouldn't go out of your way to find, but I don't think would mind too much if you ended up on it. If that road happens to be slippery, one thing this lets you do that a lot of crossovers don't is switch between front and all wheel drive, which might help you save a couple of miles a gallon. It's not a bad thing. One thing about this that does feel its age is the fuel economy, which is 28 miles per gallon combined in front wheel drive models, 26 in all wheel drive models, both of which are short for today's class. And I think a lot of that could be chucked up to the fact that this only has a six speed automatic transmission, while some of the other models have continuously variable transmissions that are a lot more efficient or more gears. But that's also certainly one of the reasons why Chevrolet is able to keep the price down on this. Generally speaking, this is not a standout model, but it obviously checks enough of the important boxes that a lot of people still want to buy it. Because let's be honest, not everyone is looking for an interesting car. But the Equinox is about to get a lot more interesting. Next year, Chevy's going to launch the Equinox EV all-electric compact SUV, which is completely different from this one, but will be sold alongside it for some time. I'm not going to try to predict if that's going to become Chevrolet's best-selling passenger car, but what I can confirm is that it won't be the oldest. 
least not for a couple of years.